Good evening, good evening, good evening. It is nine o'clock. Indeed, it is nine o'clock and it's Tuesday and it's the 7th of May. I had to look over there to see what date it was because I've completely forgotten. <laughs> it's the 7th of May. It's the Tuesday after the first bank holiday weekend in May and I hope you had a really good weekend. It's been lovely and glorious and sunny today uh, and I have been stuck indoors mucking around with computers, as I do. Um, but I digress. I'm going to look now for the titles. There they are. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. It's Tuesday. And it's Vapor Scene. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. Yes, it is Tuesday. I'm back again like a bad penny. <laughs> I hope you've all had a good week and a good bank holiday weekend. Um, if you're watching Andy's show on Saturday, you'd have heard me uh, having a, a bad time of it um, because uh, there was issues surrounding installation of things into my vehicle by a uh, well-known superstore. Um, but uh, we won't go there. Suffice to say, I ended up doing it myself on Sunday. <laughs> but there you go. We have got uh, a bit coming up for you. I've just spent the last three and a bit hours watching the uh, NV workshop uh, in the European Parliament, um, which, um, yes, was interesting. The, the iPad almost got thrown across the room, um, put it that way. But that will be dealt with tomorrow on VT Talk, so I'm not going to go there. No. <laughs> but... What we're going to start with this week, shall I start with this, shall I start with that? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll start with a recap of Saturday's show with Andy uh, and the very latest Vapor Mail. Have a little look. If you go, if Sav would like to post the link into the chat now, that would be brilliant. Uh, it is now officially live. Vapor Mail 2. Six links to the emails that we know and we have been sending, we've been getting responses from, and it's been brilliant. Uh, what we have there is a transcription of Mr. Dawn's fabulous video that outlines everything that's going on in the EU and why is it, why, why is it wrong from a vapor's point of view. And because we're not present at the meeting at the 7th, at the workshop at the EU, the camera crew, by the way, aren't allowed in, but they're allowed outside, and the people who come outside are allowed to comment. So they will be doing that. But if we could get this message that Dave very eloquently said on the video, well, if they didn't watch it as a video, they, they're gonna read it, and they're gonna have to reply. So take that text, click the links, and you know, by all means, add add your name at the top and add at the bottom. But, you know, again, spread the love. Do it over the next couple of days. So there we go. There's another next one. And uh, I won't read it all through because we've probably watched the video. But if you haven't, I recommend you do. It's on YouTube. It's on the Vapor Trails TV um, YouTube account. So please do check it out. It's well worth a watch, definitely. My name's David Dawn and I'm an electronic cigarette user. And I want to talk to you today, as a member of the European Parliament, about e-cigarettes and the upcoming Tobacco Products Directive workshop and amendments and votes and what's going on, purely and simply in terms of electronic cigarettes. The electronic cigarette I use, as you can see here, looks nothing whatever like a traditional cigarette. And I have the choice of how hot or how cool my e-cigarette runs. I can customise the experience to suit myself. 
vote to take electronic cigarettes completely out of the tobacco products directive or that you ask the commission to go away and do a lot more research, fund some studies, unbiased studies, and come back in two to three years and report on what the situation is then. At that point in time, you'll have much more information at your fingertips in order to make a decision that is not going to result in potentially 700,000 lives per year being terminated early because you, as an MEP, voted to effectively ban e-cigs as they currently are from the market in Europe. And it's well worth a read as well. Some very good points in there. Some very, very good points. So that was a little recap on uh, Andy's show on Saturday with a little bit I uh, put in there from Dave's video. And if you haven't seen the full video, please and go and watch it. It's on our YouTube channel. Uh, you'll also find it on Twitter feeds uh, and on Facebook page. Um, wise words indeed from Mr. D. Uh, and I hope that people have been listening to those wise words um, when they were talking today. Um, and if you haven't seen the footage from today's workshop meeting, I know that uh, Dave will be dealing with that on tomorrow night's VT Talk, uh, and I'm sure he'll give you the bits that are important. Um, and you don't have to sit there for three hours and watch the whole thing. But it, it was an interesting view, put it that way. I put my feet up, had a cup of coffee, and uh, like I said, almost threw the iPad across the room. However, um, you know, we need to kind of be measured about this, I guess. Um, so who's going to be the target? Who's going to be the recipient um, on Saturday? I don't know. And I do believe, uh, after Andy said last week, he's away this weekend, so he's doing a pre-record. So how that's going to pan out, I don't know, but it'll be interesting to find out. Uh, this weekend, I'm actually in Centre Parks, uh, in Evildon Forest, down in Suffolk. So if there are any vapours down there, come and find me, because uh, I'm going to be taking my video camera and seeing what it's like um, to vape down there. Will I get any resistance? Hmm. You'll have to watch next week or the week after to find out if I, re if I get any resistance to vaping in, uh, in areas. Should be interesting, shouldn't it? Anyway, so, what's going to happen this weekend? Don't know. We'll just have to find out. Now then, hmm, let's have a look at the Show Is Yours gallery this week. And I've got, um, got a quite, a, quite a good picture uh, as the winner this week. So uh, have a look and then I'll show you who's won the bottle of juice. And now it's time for Show Is Yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK. <laughs>
Show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. And I'm back. There's some really good pictures there. Um, I wonder if uh, the one of the ship, um, whether that is all vapour or whether it's smoke or steam. I don't know. Anyway, so who's the winner this week? Well, this week it is... Da -da -da -da. It's Ed Morgan. Uh, and that is a picture of his umbrella cockatoo. Uh, it's a male umbrella cockatoo called Elisha. Uh, and he's holding on to the e-cig there for dear life, but he can't get it through the bars. I wonder what would happen if he could get it through the bars. <laughs> Don't know. Anyway, well done, Ed. I will email you after the show and give you instructions on how you will get your bottle of juice. And looking at the right slide, that one, if you'd like to go into the draw for a bottle of juice, vaporscene at vaportrails.tv. Send me your pictures. If you have any issues with sending pictures, uh, you, you don't get it through, or you don't get the email back saying thank you for, uh, for your email, then uh, by all means send it to me on Facebook or on our VTTV page, which is there. Um, or you can paste it in the Vapor Trails forum on VTTV as well. So many ways you can get your picture to me. And if you do, and I pull you out of the hat, figuratively speaking, basically I click on a folder and say, okay, we'll have that one this week. Um, then uh, I'll send you a bottle of juice. Well, Jonathan Flavor Art UK will send you a bottle of juice of your flavour and strength choice. Whew, there you go. Anyway, I think it's about time for some adverts. And when we come back, I've got a little bit of a retrospective um, after seeing Andy's show at the weekend. Um, so uh, I'll see you in two. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health EV, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. in Yorkshire for your e-cig needs. That's iVeber.co.uk and iVeber-elixir.co.uk iVeber and iVeber-elixir.co.uk Pro sponsors of VeberTrails.tv Now it's back to Vapersea on Vapor Trails TV. Vapersea is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. And we're back in the room and I was severely distracted <laughs> during the ad break um, by our Skype chat because I've just seen a, a, re a repetition of something that's uh, been in the Vapor Trails TV chat. 
Mm. You know who you are. Something about pussies. Um, anyway, <laughs> I will look at that later because I always jump in the chat after the show to see what you lot have been up to. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, so Saturday's show, uh, as you know, if you watch Saturday's show, I was on the end um, with uh, Andy uh, and he put together kind of a retrospective um, and I thought that's not a bad idea. So what I've done is I've kind of done the last 15 months um, in a little bit of VT uh, with some, uh, some little funny bits in. Oh, yes. So have a little look at this. Hi, it's Marco Van Basten. You'll find me at the forum at ukvapors.com and you'll also find this video and some more videos, hopefully soon, at my YouTube channel, which is the Van Bastens UK. Uh, I thought I'd do a video just to uh, introduce myself. Hello. Um, and also just to uh, show my journey um, for the last four weeks um, since I started uh, on the investigation and checking out e-cigs and everything else um, and then the last three weeks I've been vaping pretty much like a trooper um, and have been buying bits of kit, um, e-juice, dilutants, flavours, uh, tools, syringes, you name it I've been buying it um, and it gets a bit expensive I guess but um, it's all about health, uh, it's all about uh, stopping smoking and it's all about doing something that's uh, quite enjoyable really. Um, so there you go. So I'm going to start off with uh, just showing a few basics uh, and this will help uh, the, the new people around um, so we can get a bit of understanding of what it is we're talking about, what an e-cig is, what the different options are uh, and um, we'll uh, take it from there and then I'll be doing some juice reviews uh, and also I thought I'd do some uh, how to mix your own juice tutorials uh, as well. So we'll see how those ones go. Grab the end, give it a very gentle jiggle, and there it is. It is a part. Um, that's why they've been going back. And we'll see what voltage we get off here with the multimeter. It's not easy to do. I'm trying to keep it all in shot. And that's giving me 4.11 volts on the multimeter. To make the stainless steel mesh wick we're going to use a little square of 400 stainless steel mesh and we're going to wrap that around this here paper clip. Uh, and what we're going to do with that is uh, we're going to use the paper clip method and I've put my other paper clip down somewhere so I'll just uh, straighten a new one. Um. Hey, it's Mark of Ambaston. I'm at the Globe Bean in Tamworth. As you can see, I'm not in my studio, I'm actually on location. Today is the 25th of August and it is Vape Fest.
this is Frank. He is suffering from the debilitating disease, shiny modiitis syndrome. This is what Frank had to say when we spoke to him. It all started a few months ago when I started vaping. It was all going so well, you know, and I was using a cigar like, but I found I needed more and more. So I bought a screwdriver, and then I bought a screwdriver Mark II. Then it got even worse. I, I got my hands on a Provari, and then I discovered RTAs, RDAs, and other rebuildables. I soon progressed on to mixing my own juice, and then I discovered stainless steel mesh. Oh, please help me. I, I just can't stop myself. For just £2 a month, you can help Frank have a better vaping life. You won't receive photos or letters, but you will see gloating posts on the forums and the discarded mods in the classifieds. You can donate by texting VAPE to 283-629-015-732. Please give generously. Thank you. What do you mean there are no nuts? What do you mean there's no nuts? Sounds like something that would apply to a dildo, for God's sake. Oh my God. I'm gonna get you a towel. In your words, my good man? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Zoom. <laughs> Seriously? I'll go get you a towel. This week I have with me one of these 5mm Ego CC that I was uh, using last night. Um, I'm uh, Heading up the A1M this morning, up to uh, tiny over here. 2.20 ohm dual coil uh, atomizer, uh, and it's on its second film because I've used it on the way up um, to Washington. Twitter bomb. Retweet. I think they are trying to suppress something well before it's had a chance to prove itself um, which I, I think it is in the process of doing and will do and will be proven as a, a really good thing. we we'll just go straight back to cigarettes I would think. I think it's a disgrace. The first thing I'd do is go out and buy some more cigarettes. These are the way forward. The EU ban would push me back to cigarettes and basically I don't want that. It's going to make a, a big mistake if they enforce any ban which will probably finish me off. That'll be the consequence. Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> Marco, how are you? Thank you for coming on this um, evening. I'm good. I'm good. If not hot, it's hot in here with my lights on. It's hot here as well, but mm. for, for more technical reasons than um, anything else, really. Um, <laughs> behind the scenes, it's all, all going a little bit pear-shaped, but it's all right now. It's all right now. So, there you go. That's the kind of last 15 months of, uh, of my life and the last uh, six months since uh, I started doing this show. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the funny bits in there. Um, <laughs> and from what I can uh, see in our Skype chat, the, uh, the Vapegasm um, segment that uh, Dave Dornford did for me uh, was quite apt tonight. <laughs> but seriously, I've got to thank everybody from the team who has provided videos, <clears throat> done um, juicy juices and how to's um, and other bits and pieces in the last six months. Uh, it's been really good fun and it's going to get better, one hopes anyway. Um, we'll continue to uh, put out what I can basically. We'll continue, I'll continue uh, to put out what I can uh, and uh, hopefully next week there'll be something um, from Centre Parks as I said. Um, and we'll see what happens when I vape in inconspicuous places uh, with the biggest mod I can find in my arsenal. <laughs> so I shall bring you that and we'll see what happens. Along with some lovely tasteful images of birds and um, things in the Eildon Forest. I've not been before so it should be quite good fun. I might just tape the video camera to the front of the bicycle and just <coughs> go through. Who knows? Anyway. I'm just about out of time for this week, so uh, I will let you know tomorrow VT Talk is going to be talking about, Dave is going to be talking about uh, today's meeting. Uh, and hopefully the guys that were there filming, that uh, Andy arranged the film crew to go and film MEPs and MPs, have got some good footage. Um, so that will be coming to you as soon as Andy um, gets the material back, I guess, uh, and gets it all edited up. And I believe Saturday there's going to be some footage from last Friday that was recorded down at Safersigs when the MP was there doing a visit. Um, so Dave is here tomorrow with VT Talk. He's here on Thursday with the Hayes Hour and I do believe Graham and Keith are going to be in attendance. So that should be good. Um, Saturday, and Leon, uh, certainly on Saturday, on Saturday at 9pm. Um, not entirely sure what's happening because I know it's going to be a pre-record but keep your eye out on Twitter and Facebook because Sav and Daz will be posting what is coming up. Sunday Mr Kitson will be back from Switzerland uh, with more footage I should imagine uh, and he will be here at nine o'clock on Sunday. Monday the boys are back in town at nine o'clock with Tin Your Tip. I am here next Tuesday and I don't get home from Centre Parks until Monday night. So it's going to be a rather interesting day of editing. <laughs> but anyway, until I see you next, until you see me next, happy vaping, peace out. is proudly sponsored by Health Evape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.